Fake it till you make it is what they say. However, some people have made it but are still faking it. Welcome to BNN. I go by the name Ryan Wangare and in this video we will be covering some of the celebrities in Kenya or the public figures who have been caught red-handed or pants down faking it online. Now the ones that I'll mention here are very much recent. So let's start with the first person and this is Amare's sister Elari. She was caught posting a photo of her baby however it wasn't her baby it was a baby from pinterest so she had taken a photo of a child from pinterest and then she posted it on her instagram stories as her own baby and you know i just don't get the point of this because i mean she went ahead and added this emoji there so a lot of people didn't see the point as they felt you know angichiko took to talk a picture and then i post with that kind emoji it would have still been okay however it is absurd that people carry Currently, are even faking photos of their babies with photos from Pinterest. Anyways, um, the next person who has been caught or rather has been exposed on BNN for faking it is Hantel Wanjiro. This girl is known for the lavish lifestyle, traveling from here to there. However, quite recently, she was exposed for faking a travel to Greece. Now, take a look at this photo very clearly it appears that she is floating i mean when you decide to fake it ensure that you get a good editor because hapa hindi ilim sell out she had edited herself into that place and yeah that is how she was caught the next person who was caught faking it on bnn is just ivy a lot of you know her from over 25 so she was caught faking her edge and she wasn't faking it as on her instagram stories no she was actually doing an interview the cta you all know you you are probably familiar with the cta so well, while on this interview, as she was talking about when she was born, she revealed that she was born in 1988. That would mean that in 2024, she would be turning 35. However, Uwangoni Mbaya, because as she kept telling the story, she then came to a point where she said that she finished college at 2005 or in 2005 and at, in 2005 when she was finishing college she was 22 years old which would make her about 40 or rather turning 40 this year so when you decide to lie <laughs> and sure you get your script right because that is how utapatikana na bnn sleuths also if you've noticed something or all these stories i'm talking about were exposed on bnn premium so if you would like to get these exposes firsthand then you might consider joining BNN Premium. The link is right in the description below. The other person who was caught red-handed faking it, which is, a, this one is very much recent. In fact, we have a video about it right here on our YouTube channel, is Shonarua. Now, Shonarua posted for us a house tour, or rather gave us a house tour of her house in Nigeria. And the house had actually pleased a lot of people. People were like, ah, the house has got class. You know, it's classy. Why don't we see our other Kenyan celebrities with such classy houses, you know? And, I, you know, when she posted the tour, I was like, why is this tour so short? You know, it was it was just like a short clip. Kumbe, the house wasn't hers. It's an apartment in Banana Island, Nigeria. And she's not the only one who has flaunted it on social media. Other people from Nigeria, and you know public figures from nigeria have also done the same as well and now that we've covered these people i would like to ask you why do you think people fake it in life because these people who are faking on social media are not the only ones even you know in places where we live in some of our relatives some of our friends some of you know our acquaintances some people will be faking in life and so i would want to know like what do you think is the reason why people be faking it however i found a pretty good explanation as to why celebrities may be faking it online listen to this opinion by a bnn fan Lots of laughter, a different perspective. What if influencers fake a lifestyle, not for their fans, but for their target sponsors? Imagine, yeah, I am used to be taken to Ibiza on weekends. Their target, sp their target sponsors won't research as much. They live that life already. Also, brands won't interrogate this much. They can simply say they are international influencers, so paying them low won't be an option. 
I also saw a similar comment um, when um, Amare's, no, Ella Ray's story was posted and people were saying that she was posting that probably to get brands or something. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. I have been your girl, Rai Luangari. Always keep it here on BNN where we keep you updated on all your favorite celebrities.